Hi guys, so welcome back here at DEC Engineering Tutorials. So this time is we're going to talk about capillary cable. So what is capillary cable? So it is the curve as shown by the by a cable suspended between supports when the uniformly distributed load is acting along the length of the cable. So saan natin to uh, makikita sa real life? Uh, one example is dito sa chain it is supported at both ends uh, even dito sa ating, uh, sa ating mga power lines no? so yung mga cable nila is also in also catenary cable so even dito sa spider webs na rin no? so catenary cable din. so yung yung mukha ng catenary curve or yung catenary cable is para siyang parabola pero di talaga siya uh, parabolic curve no? so it is most likely express uh, or yung curve niya is in terms of hyperbolic cosine such as shown here so may kita natin dito yung blue line niya so we have the hyperbolic cosine so ito yung catenary ito yung parabolic curve no? yung red one So, parang ganito. No? So, ito yung parabola. Ito na yung katinan. Okay. So, so dito, uh, we have uh, tension at both ends. So, that is labeled as T1 and T2. Then, yung mga elevation uh, dito sa super from our uh, datum is y sub 1 while dito sa uh, point 2 or dito sa end support then is we have y sub 2 so yung lowest point yung elevation niya is labeled as c so yung distance between the lowest point to the uh, end support or dito sa point 1 is labeled as x sub 1 and dito naman sa lowest point patungo dito sa end support point 2 that is labeled as x sub 2 so itong s1 yan yung arc length okay yan yung length mismo ng cable and yung s2 naman is ito yung length ng cable dito na part no? from lowest point to the end support at point 2 so ito yung uniformly distributed long load along its length along the length of the cable so ito yung kaibahan ng uh, dun sa parabolic curve. No? Kasi sa parabolic uh, keyboard, yung assumption natin ng uniformly distributed load is is projected horizontally. So, such as shown here. Ito naman yung sa parabolic keyboard. So, yun yung kaibahan ng catenary at parabolic curve in terms of uh, loadings. And in terms of the geometry, so parabolic curve is a uh, quadratic, no? uh, x squared. While yung catenary natin, while yung catenary natin is naka hyperbolic cosine siya. So ito naman yung formulas involved dito sa catenary cable. So may kita natin na naka hyperbolic cosine yung yung uh, curve natin, no? So, we have y over c equals hyperbolic cosine of x over c. y stands for elevation, x stands for the horizontal distance, and c is the lowest elevation. And we have also y squared equals c squared plus s squared. And the tension, the tension at all, is just the uniformly distributed load okay, multiplied by the elevation y. Okay. So, ito lang yung formulas na gagamitin natin uh, pag magsusolve tayo ng problem related to catenary cable. Okay, so we have example here. So, we have uh, 200 uh, feet na cable and may weight siya na 300 pounds. So, based dito sa statement na to, statement 1, makukuha natin agad yung uh, w, no? yung uniformly distributed load. So, let's say 
ang gagawin natin is just yung weight over the length. So, we have 300 pounds all over 200 feet. Or, we have 1.5 pounds per feet. So, bali yung dito niya is Reflect lang natin yan. And so, itong W na ito is 1.5 pounds per feet. Okay, so, uh, has a resultant tension at ends of 360 pounds and uh, 330 pounds. So, makikita natin na hindi equal yung tension at both ends. So, uh, ibig sabihin, uh, may, dif may difference ng elevation yung support natin or unsymmetrical siya. No? Hindi, hindi in one line yung, yung uh, support natin. No? So, most likely, so, mas higher yung may 360 pounds kumpara dito sa 330 pounds. So, if I assume ito yung ano ko, so, bali meron siya. Oh, dito na nga yung sa ito sa akin. So, lagay natin na mas elevated itong point 1. Okay. So, mas alam natin yung uh, W is 1.5 pounds per feet. So, assume natin yung tension 1 is 360 pounds. Well, yung dito natin is uh, 330 pounds. Okay, so... Okay, so we are asked to find the difference in elevation between supports. So it's very obvious kasi uh, unequal yung mga uh, tension. No? And ano daw yung horizontal distance between supports. So bali yung tinatanong is uh, ano daw ito? So let's say uh, this dito siya is y sub 1 and then dito is y sub 2 so, yung tinatanong is ano ba yung value ng y sub 1 minus y sub 2. And then, ano doon yung horizontal distance? Ito yung tinatanong. So, ano doon yung x sub 1 plus x sub 2. So, yun yung mga tanong sa problem. Okay, so, uh, I'm going to solve this problem in conventional way. That is the first part, so we natin. And then the second part, uh, I'm going to solve this one using calculator only. So that would be in the uh, second part. Okay? Okay, now, so first is uh, we, we need to compute for uh, y sub 1 since we don't have tension. So, meron tayong value ng W. So, by formula, we have tension equals W times Y. So, we have for tension 1. So, for tension 1. So, we have 360. And then, this one is 1.5. So, therefore, we have Y sub 1. So, Y sub 1 is just equal to 
240 feet. Okay, so for tension 2, so we found the value on the side 2. So tension 2 is 330. So we got 360 divided by 1.5. Okay, so that is 240. And then dun sa 330, that is 420. So we have 1.5 y sub 2. So y sub 2 is 220. So since may difference ng elevation, kaya, uh, kaya nag-differ din yung tension. So imagine if equal yung y sub 1 and y sub 2. So t1 and t2 would be also equal. Okay. So, makakumpit na natin yung difference ng elevation. Ito yung supports. So, that is just y sub 1 minus y sub 2. So, we have 240 minus 220. And that is 20 feet. So, ito na yung uh, sagot natin. Okay, next is we're going to solve for the uh, horizontal distance in x sub 1 and x sub 2. And we have formula which is um, y over c is equivalent to hyperbole cosine of the x over c. So, bali dito, uh, meron tayong anong uh, x. So, the value of y are already solved. So, yung wala na lang tayo is the value ng c. So, yan din magiging issue pa rin natin. So, if we get the value of c, so, therefore, we can solve the value of x. Now, how we can solve the value of C? So, we have time formula. Diba? But yung formula ito. And this one, this one, this one. Ito na gamit na natin na. So, ito na gamit na lang natin. So, ito yung magiging formula natin. If y sub 2 equals C sub 2 plus uh, y squared equals C squared plus S squared. So, we can use that one. We have y squared equals c squared plus s squared. So, dito na yung kita natin na uh, yung y is already given. And then, ito yung required natin. So, once makuha natin ito, so, substitute natin yung value dito. So, yung issue naman is ano ito. Diba? Wala tayong s and 1 and s and 2. However, may binigay siya total length of cable. So, that would be our pieces. So, nakita natin dito na makakatulong din yung info na yan. So, we have S of 1 and S of 2 equals 200 feet. Also, I think this is enough para masolve natin yung problem. Okay, so... Uh, we have y squared equals uh, c squared plus s squared. So, considering yung uh, s sub 1 part na to. So, we have y sub 1 equals c and s sub 1 squared. And considering na yung dito sa part na to. So, we have y sub 2 squared uh, c squared plus s sub 2 squared. So we just need to substitute the value of y sub 1, so it is 240. So we have c, and then we have to allow the s. So we have to get this one. So next is for y sub 2, so we have 220. So we have 220 squared equals 
c square plus s of 2 square. Okay, so combine that in now. So we have 2 to t square equals c square plus s of 2 square. And then we have 2 for t square equals c square plus s of 2 square. So we can have to cancel out the c. No? So by multiplying or by subtracting that. No? And subtract equation these two equations. So we have uh, 2 20 squared minus 2 40 squared. So we have c squared minus c squared. So let this cancel out. And then we have s of 2 squared minus s of 1 squared. Okay, so we have new 2 20 squared minus uh, 240 squared so that is negative 9200 so we have s of 2 squared minus s of 1 squared so uh, I want to be paired with the negative so I transpose to the top so we have s of 1 squared minus s of 2 squared equals 9200. Okay, so we didn't have to factor out the s of 1 minus s of 2. So that becomes s of 1 and s of 2. Then s of 1 plus s of 2. So this becomes 9200. So now, we have the value s of 1 plus s of 2. That is 200. So, we can have a substitute then. So, therefore, we have an equation uh, S of 1 minus S sub 2. So, that is equal to 9200 divided by 200. So, that value is 46. Okay, so we we'll take this equation here. So we take the equation of that. So by the time S sub 1 plus S sub 2 equals 200 P. We only have P1. Then we have to write that. Then we have to write S sub 1 minus S sub 2 equals 46. So if we add these two equations, so we have 2 S sub 1. So cancel out the S of 2 huh? equals 246. So therefore, we're going to find value in S sub 1. So that is 246 divided by 2. So that is 123. Okay, so we're going to S sub 1. So we're going to find the value in S sub 2. But now from this equation, so we're going to S sub 1. S sub 2 equals 200, so therefore the S sub 2 is 200 minus 123. So we have 200 minus 123. So that value is 77 feet. So by the time we have the formula, because we have the value in S sub S to y. Now, from the formula, y squared equals c squared plus s squared. So, pili lang tayo kasi pareho lang naman yung s if we consider uh, y sub 1 and s sub 1. And pareho din yung s if we consider y sub 2 and s sub 2. So, therefore, from y sub 1 lang. So, pili ka lang yung isa lang. So, we have the same. So, y sub 1, we have 240. So, so solve natin yung value ng C. Na. So, S of 1 is 123. So, therefore, C is So, we have 240 squared 
the 1.3 square so we just need to shift some that one so we have 206 negative because quadratic ka s squared so we are expecting positive also the bar so retype ko na lang yung 206 so yeah so meron siya plus minus 206 0 so just take the positive uh, credit Okay, so, ngayon, uh, pwede na natin, since meron na tayong values, okay? so yun lang yung issue, di ba? Parang so, yun yung value x. So, namap up na natin yan. So, pwede na natin gamitin yung formula na y over c is equal to hyperbolic cosine of x over c. So, considering... sub 1 and x sub 1 and also considering y sub 2 and x sub 2 so we just need to substitute the value so for y sub 1 we have 250 and you see na po natin is 206 point 0.085 hyperbolic cosine of x1 so ganun din dito sa y sub 2 ok we just need to change this one into y sub 2 and x sub 2 so thus we have x sub 1 and x so, so just type that one in our calculator so uh, that can be handled using our calculator so 206.085 uh, to access the hyperbolic cosine uh, may kita mo dito sa calculator is may height no? hanapin mo lang sa calculator mo yan kung anong calculator ka uh, I think standard naman yung height so just press the height okay just press the height so ma-access mo yung mga hyperbolic cosine tsaka yung mga inverse uh, hyperbolic cosine so ito yung concern natin ha? ito yung equation natin yung hyperbolic cosine just press 2 and then uh, alam to like sub 1 and then we have 206.085 and then we just need to so, so we have 116.66 feet and then we change this one into 220 so ship so so we have 75 3, 1, 2, 3. Feet. So the distance, the horizontal distance between the point is just 2. So add lang natin yung dalawa. 116.6676 plus 75.3123 oh, so we have 191.979 uh, feet so it's approximately equal to 199 so this is now our Okay, so medyo mahaba yung solution niya uh, kasi uh, marami siyang unknowns, no? So, 
Kaya ganito, may pray tayo ng mga equation. Anyway, uh, we're going to solve this one in the next video using calculator only. Okay, so if you like this video, uh, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. And if you want to get notified with our daily uploads, just click the notification bell. Okay, para updated kayo sa mga newly uploads natin. So, keep safe and see you in the next video. Thank you.